Welcome into this season's first edition of Outside the SEC with LT. I'm Lance Taylor with Lance'sLive.com and the Jocks Roundtable. And each and every week we will explore three big games away from the Southeastern Conference. Not only will we break these games down, we will also give you the winners in Vegas against the number. We start out 2019 with a Big Ten Pac-12 matchup as Northwestern heads west to take on the Cardinal of Stanford for a 3 p.m. Fox game. The last time we saw these two kick off a college football season, Pat Fitzgerald's Wildcats knocked off a Christian McCaffrey-led Stanford team that went on to win the Rose Bowl that same year. Northwestern once again exceeded expectations in 2018 by winning nine games in the Big Ten West. David Shaw's team is coming off an underachieving nine-win campaign, and although they do lose some key offensive parts in Bryce Love and J.J. Arcega-Whiteside, I do like quarterback K.J. Costello. The biggest factor in this matchup will be up front where the Cardinals should have a field day against a Northwestern offensive line that gave up the most sacks in the Big Ten last year. I expect Clemson transfer quarterback Hunter Johnson to be running for his life all afternoon. I like Stanford in this spot, minus the six and a half. Next, we head to Jacksonville for a 6 p.m. ESPN tilt between Boise State and Florida State. This is a huge second year for Willie Taggart as his Seminoles were a train wreck all of 2018, going 5-7 and seven and missing a bowl for the first time in 36 years. On the other side, Brian Harson has won 10-plus games in four of his five years, but something will be a little different for the Broncos in 2019 as they will start a true freshman quarterback in Hank Bachmeyer. While Boise has always been efficient offensively, I expect there to be week one growing pains for Bachmeyer in this offense. On the other side, Florida State averaged under 22 points per game in 2008, and although the much-respected Kendall Bryles takes over as OC, I still think they're a ways away from the old-school Florida State offenses. It's going to be around 90 degrees at kickoff, and I think this is going to be a sluggish defensive affair. The total right now sits around 54 and a half, and I like under the number in this spot. Our final stop is in Norman for a Sunday night primetime matchup between Houston and Oklahoma. Outside of winning a national championship, Lincoln Riley has done just about everything you would want in his first two years on the job. Back-to-back -back Big 12 titles, back-to-back -back Heisman Trophy winning quarterbacks, and back-to-back -back college football playoff appearances. Once again, Riley will rely on a transfer quarterback, and this time it's a familiar face and former Alabama standout Jalen Hurts, who brings in a 26-2 record as a starting quarterback. On the other side, Houston has a new look in head coach Dana Holgerson, who comes in from the Big 12 to the AAC. Holgerson is known for his offense, and he has a major weapon in senior quarterback Derek King. King is one of only three quarterbacks in 2018 to total 50-plus touchdowns. To me, this one comes down to the defenses. Although Oklahoma went out and hired Alex Grinch as their new defensive coordinator, I don't expect them to automatically become a top 25 unit. They should be much improved, though. As for the Cougars, they lose five of their top seven tacklers, including first-round standout Ed Oliver. Oklahoma, led by Trey Sermon and Jalen Hurts, should be running downhill all night. Dana Holgerson is 1-7 all-time versus top five teams. Let's make that 1-8 after Sunday night. Give me Oklahoma minus the huge number of 22.5. And, and to recap, we like Stanford at home minus the 6.5. We're playing under the 54.5 in the Boise-Florida State game. And finally, Sunday night, we're laying the really large 22.5 and backing Oklahoma. There you go. Three picks, hopefully three winners to start out 2019. This has been Outside the SEC with LT. For more information, check out lanceslock.com or listen live daily on WJOX 94.5 from 6 to 10 in Birmingham.